Hey, I'm Laura. Just quickly, we here at Grit TV are proud to bring you independently produced content every day. Now it's your chance to help us. Grit TV has been offered a $100,000 challenge grant. Every dollar you give right now between now and June 30th is worth $3 to us. We've only got a few more weeks to meet the match. Will you help? You can donate at our website, grittv.org. Meanwhile, enjoy this clip. President Obama's announcement that BP will set aside $20 billion in a fund for victims of the Gulf oil disaster is welcome relief to communities where businesses and homes have been destroyed. The total amount needed to compensate all those affected, however, is being estimated at closer to $60 billion. That's 6 0 Obama swears the 20 isn't a cap. I guess we'll see. More to the point, since the president has actually no legal basis per se to demand that set aside from BP, how did he get those billions? It's called the power of the presidency, and it just goes to show what you can do when you have the world's top job. Linked to the bully pulpit, the U.S. president is the leader of the richest country in the world, twice as rich as China, with the biggest markets, finance capital of the world? Talk about clout. Most of the time that clout's used to kind of enrich the rich, who sometimes kick back to politicians who play along. But right now the president has used his muscle to get something done for those the chair of the BP board called the small people. At least it's a promise. Imagine had President Obama used that same power to stop government layoffs, say, or prod Congress into some new taxes or jobs. Get Congress to raise taxes on hedge funds and commercial real estate over the 50% rate where it is now, closer to the 35% taxation rate the rest of us pay. There's so much to do to get people back to work or keep people in their jobs. And yet the president holds back the power of that presidency. Wield that baton, Mr. President. The power of the presidency is what makes presidents great.